welcome to Elon After Hours. I'm Baylor Rodman. And I'm Stephen Bame. Tonight we're joined by Rachel Fultonberg of Elon's Relay for Life team, as well as our musical guest Asa Wake, who's going to be performing for us later on. But first, as always, let's get into some news. At this past week's homecoming concert, Sean Kingston created mass chaos by joining the hordes of students on the floor <laughs> level of Shar Center. Students were jumping over barricades and pushing past security and police officers to get closer to him. I heard somebody called 911, cause shawty fire burning on the dance floor, whoa. <laughs> Maybe he was just trying to get back at Elon for giving Jesse McCartney the bigger green room and sandwich platter. <laughs> well folks, you better waddle on down to your orthodontist and brace yourself for this next story. A man had been reported to have pulled a 677 pound cargo ship by just his teeth. You heard that right, 677 pounds with his just teeth. A bolt Insane. pulled by teeth? Yeah. They should have called it a tooth fairy. He finished a big haul around 2 hurdy in the afternoon. His tooth strength has dentists absolutely enameled. Ain't that the tooth? <laughs> According to New York police, Alec Baldwin was arrested and charged with assault and harassment last Friday. Surprise, surprise. Speaking of surprises, South Carolina Representative Mark Sanford lost every single supporter in his neighborhood this Halloween. Instead of giving out tricks or treats, he gave out copies of the U.S. Constitution. Now, this is a guy who is taking the youth vote extremely seriously. And hey, I give him credit. Young voter turnout was really high this midterm election season, so maybe he's onto something. True. I'm I'm sure the 10-year-olds dressed as Iron Man and Disney princesses just loved it. <laughs> well, this week, After Hours took to the streets. Check it out. Hey, guys. It's Baylor. This week, we went around Elon's campus spreading some Elon fake news. So here we go. Let's get started. Okay, so a lot of breaking news on the campus of Elon today. So we went right out to the streets to get everybody's reaction. The Alamance Fountain, part of the 2030 plan, they're going to level that and make it extra parking for students. How do you feel about that? Uh, I was not aware of that. And Breaking news this morning. I um I don't like that news. That's not a good idea. I kind of miss the fountain. Yeah, yeah, it, lo it looks yeah. nice, right? No, it's it's really really pretty. Yeah, I don't like that either. This doesn't sound very nice at all. Even even if it means more parking. No. No, I, I feel like the fountains are kind of like such main parts of the campus. Have you ever jumped in that fountain, David? I wish I could. <laughs> I have. <laughs> you have been swimming in it. Very nice. So just this morning, they announced that because of the opening of McEwen, that Lakeside will be closing and that they're going to convert it to a computer lab. How do you feel about that? I think that there's already no food at the school, so I think closing Lakeside would be detrimental <laughs> to students. <laughs> okay. That's horrible. That's not a good idea. Uh, McEwen's going to be pretty crowded now, so it's pretty bad. A triple whammy here. Dr. Book not coming back next year. She just got inaugurated. I know. This is what we're all saying. Um, this is my first time hearing about it. Find someone new. Um, I mean, I hope that she has found another opportunity elsewhere that's better suited for her. Why is she not coming back? She did, has not said yet. So it sounds like she made it sound like she's got other opportunities awaiting her, but... That's kind of weird. So we're going to have another inauguration next year, I guess. I mean, it was pretty good, the inauguration ball, so... I mean, I didn't go. But <laughs> yeah, I think she maybe should have told someone sooner. It's pr it's pretty it's pretty bad, you know, for the university. And who do you think should re should replace her? Um, John Dooley. Kanye West. Yeah. Are these all jokes? Like <laughs> yes, they are. You have been punked. We are doing some fake news around campus. Get this. None of those stories are true. I made them all up. You can feel so much better today. I feel better now. You feel better now. <laughs> he feels better now. So there you have it, people's reactions here of Elon. Not so satisfied with our questions, but happy to know they're not real. Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> well, moving on, Celtics point guard Kyrie Irving was fined $25,000 for throwing a ball into the stands after losing to the Denver Nuggets. In his defense, I'd be pretty angry, too, if I lost to a team called the Nuggets. <laughs> Two men in Germany were convicted for stealing over 100 portable toilets and selling them to a company in the Netherlands. So far, only three of the said portable toilets have been recovered. Well, that's sh**. <laughs> All right, when we come back, we'll be sitting down with Rachel Fultenberg, so stick around.